Greetings all, this is Harry Nick. And this is Justin. We are back on FFG's X-Wing subsite because we have a sneaky little spoiler. Yeah. Hidden within an article that was not about spoilers. We have an article about the system's open prizes. And we don't usually cover this kind of stuff. Apart from anything else, we're Australian and we don't get this kind of stuff in Australia anyway. We've got some cool um, alt art, uh, closed nopal and X-Wing foils, uh, Archer Astromech, a new damage deck. A whole swag of pilot cards, um, a bunch of stuff which are on their prize wall, which you can only get as one of in the tournament. But there was the mat as well, with yeah. the Death Star with Yavin in the distance. Yeah, um, oh. they're going all out with their systems open prizes. I wish the um, regular kits were this well equipped. But anyway, yeah. that's not what this the video is about. We're talking about some new spoilers because we've got some more details from the Wave 2 content. Mm. First of all, this spread right here in front of us gives us an image of a generic resistance bomber and a generic tire. SF. Yeah, so and we didn't previously have all these stats before. The Resistance is a Cobalt Squadron Bomber. It has Focus, Target Lock, Rotate, Arc and Reload. Yeah, um, we didn't know that it specifically had this collection of actions with mm. this colour. Um, the Reload may have been red, although it's not likely, it's a bomber. Yeah. Um, but the Rotate Arc could easily have been red. Um, mm. So it's good to see that. Uh, yeah, and we have an Initiative 1 platform, always good for bombers. Yeah. But what's really interesting here is the Zeta Squadron Survivor. Okay, fair enough. Initiative 2, and we've got some TIE SF stats. Mm. So it fires always two red dice at the front with a two dice turret. And that turret must be locked in the front or the back. It cannot mm. shoot sideways. So it's like the A-Wing for the Resistance. Yes. Um, also, Agility 2, 3 hull, 3 shield. And all of its actions, uh, focus, evade, target lock and barrel roll, link to a white rotate turret. Which is awesome. It is awesome. Um, it's not as good as we think. Basically, you have to remember, it's basically like just having a forward and reverse facing arc. Hmm. Permanently, you can always flip the indicator, but it's not that consequential. The hmm. reason you would ever want to flip the indicator is because if you read the bottom line of text here, you must treat the forward arc requirement on your equipped missiles as a turret attack. Meaning mm. uh, you can shoot backwards, but you cannot shoot forward if you're facing backwards with your mobile indicator. Yeah, I like that though. I do like it. Um, it's interesting design. I will say I am concerned about this because if it just becomes a case of that being too difficult to work with, people may just gravitate to lists without missiles and just lock it backwards all the time. In which case mm. there's no point having it... Um, uh, the way it is. Now, you might think, oh, what happened to the Thai SF um, special op training from first edition? That is on the Special Forces Gunner card, which we can see here in front of us, which was revealed in a previous spread. Don't know how much this one costs. Yeah. Um, we know it's a Gunner card. It's probably going to be Thai SF only. I'm pretty safe yeah. to say because of the way it ended it. It works with the mobile arc, and it, that would be uh, weird if uh, it worked with a different ship. That, I, I was yeah. going to say that it was going to probably be quite expensive, but if it's only going to be for the SF, they it can. could be zero. It could be yeah. like a guaranteed thing. Cool thing is you can choose to take a different gunner instead if you really want to, mm. which could be interesting. Um, mm. There might be some more gunner cards revealed soon. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. Um, let's move down to this spread here because apart from some really awesome alternate art cards we have here, I like the look at all the X-Wing cards and some nice cards with transparencies on them. We have a yeah. couple of new reveals as well. Actually, before we talk about that, Guri with the Black Sun. The Black Sun uh, Crest. Yeah, looks really, uh, really cool. cool. I like that they went for Black Sun over the Scum Crest. Yeah. Looks awesome. The new reveals we have in this is Quick Draw and Chewbacca. Mm. Uh, we were just speaking about the um, Tire Sefs. So let's continue that with Quick Draw. After you lose a shield, you may spend one charge. If you do, you may perform a bonus primary attack. It's the same as it always was. Um, but it's been limited to one. There is now a hard limit on all your bonus attacks to only one. So yeah. there's no longer shooting four times with a quick draw. And look, given um, the sort of power shift in second edition, I think that's probably fair enough. Yeah. Um, I like this a lot. And what I particularly like about this is it seems to lean away from the synergy of Special Ops Training or Special Ops Gunner as it now is. And this might be the platform that you want to take the missile on. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Um, you must perform a bonus primary attack. Uh, however, the flexibility on initiative six, uh, you don't get any value out of your gunner if you are going to shoot twice anyway. Mm. So why not just go for a harder build with missiles? Maybe think of a different gunner card or leave the gunner off completely. 
Um, it just feels to me like this is leaning a bit away from that strategy, which is going to open up some interesting design space. Mm. Uh, could be a fun card to play around with. Look, it's Initiative 6, so it's going to see play somehow. Yeah. Pretty much. And Chewbacca at Initiative 4. Now, I will say there is a misprint on this uh, image here. There is a front arc indicator next to his three red dice. It should be a bow tie, as in the dual firing arc. Mm. After a friendly ship, a range 0 to 3 is destroyed. You may perform an action. Then you may perform a bonus attack. That's cheeky. It is very cheeky. I like it. So in second edition, yes, you can't take multiple bonus attacks. However, let's be realistic. How often did that happen in first edition? Yeah. Not very often indeed. So uh, by giving you an extra action, I think in general, this is going to offer more upside than the old Chewbacca did. Yeah. It's worth pointing out, you can do the red actions. Yeah. Red actions don't prevent you from attacking. So mm. you can boost into range one and attack something. You can rotate the arc to guarantee you a shot. You will guarantee yourself a shot because you're rotating your arc during the engagement phase. Mm. No ship has access to that. Mm. It's a lot more upside because taking actions during the engagement phase is pretty huge. However, yes, it still requires one of your ships to blow up. Yeah. D- don't get overhyped about this because it it basically helping you out. It's giving you a lot of help in exchange for a lot of downside. Mm. This can no longer fly alongside Z95s. This can no longer fly alongside significantly cheap platforms. Maybe the A-Wing will be a bit cheaper. I think mm. I think this is moving into the realm no longer of being a combo card where you fly alongside bombs and all that kind of stuff and Z95s. You now use this as a value engine to use when your other ships blow up, but you're not relying on that happening. Yeah, this you, you're flying three ships. At yeah, least. yeah, for sure. Um, Chewbacca previously could be flown in four ship builds. It is mm. technically possible, but that's in a world where you have Zeds and Tie Fighters and that kind yeah. of stuff. So maybe, maybe th- if you've got two oh, A's, maybe two yeah. A's? I, was, I was thinking maybe. Two of the lower point. Ooh, T70s, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It depends how cheap they are. Um, they're around 25 points in first edition, so it's yeah. half your list just for two of them without anything. It's pretty tight. Yeah. I think um, maybe two, if we're super lucky, three A's alongside this is probably the kind of list Chewbacca wants. Yeah, but they'd it's, be naked A's. Maybe, yeah. It's probably. very narrow. Yeah. It does feel very narrow to me. We're speculating based on the points, but we know roughly what these should cost. I will say that this Millennium Falcon is worse than the other ones. Well, worse than the Rebellion one anyway. Maybe not the Scum one. But this has red rotate turrets instead of whites. It is physically a different ship from the Rebellion version. Mm. So it might be cheaper. It might have a tech slot. It has been upgraded in the newer films, so... Uh, Ray did pull the tech out, though. Yeah, she pulled the compressor (laughs) out. No, um, yeah, there are things... There's a conversation around this, but I realistically think that the hype is squarely going to be around Ray. I'm very excited to see what Han can do. I just don't know what we're going to do in this Chewbacca in second edition. It just... It's very narrow. It's very narrow. In the comment section, if you can think of something that we haven't, please let us know. And yes, that's a few more reveals for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Reddit. Please consider supporting the Patreon. Uh, Thank you so much to all our existing patrons. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.